Hello and welcome to another episode of the Idiot's Guide to Rebuilding a Suzuki GT750 by an idiot. This episode covers fitting the Ascent Electronic Ignition. Um, so we're going to go through it step by step by step. Firstly, on the plate that you get, these are the adjustment slots. But seven times out of ten, you don't get enough adjustment when you're trying to rotate it. It's actually that way up. Um, so I elongate these holes. So where I've put a black felt tip there, 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 and there, I extend the holes very, very carefully because when you're setting the timing by rotating this you don't get enough movement um, so I prefer to do it before I fit it because it's easier um, so that's that for this video I've just put uh, another loom here just slung it over the bike so that I can show you where all the wires go um, <clears throat> so when you get it you get it with these wires hanging out and you get a plug so this is the plug that you want it to mate with so I just put that there just half in the um, male plug obviously you get the female side you get three wires and people get confused with it and I did at first but it's very very simple on a loom you've got four wires going into the plug you've got a black with a yellow trace a white wire a black wire and a blue wire the blue wire doesn't get used so the easiest way to do it so you get it right. The yellow wire goes on the black with a yellow trace. So I'll just pop that in there. You hear it click and snap into position. The white wire goes above it, snaps into position. And the black goes on the bottom next to the um, yellow wire. So that's those now all in the correct position. Now what I would say is when if you're retrofitting this to a bike with an old loom in there I would take this panel off and just check because that's all you can see coming out so you can't see where the wires are. Um, somebody may have moved the wires round in its past so just undo that pull it out have a look and make sure that's where the wire should be. If you're fitting a new loom, certainly with a Bob Harris loom, they're all in the correct places. Um, but it, it just pays to double check. Then you can't have any mistakes or and wonder why it's not running correctly. So that's the plug sorted. So that's those three wires taken care of. Then you have these orange wires. The orange wires go into the light blue and the orange that come out of um, the indicator flasher unit. So here's one that's a grotty one before it's had a bit of cleaning up, just to show you. So the orange wire goes onto this orange wire like that. The other end of it goes to oops, the other orange wire on the loom. So that's just a loop which puts power to the system. So on the bike you can see them there. There's a whole bunch of 
Uh, four wires that all come out together. There's an earth there for this relay. There's the dark blue, <clears throat> which is for your neutral light. Then you've got the light blue and the orange. So that just clicks in between the, on the orange. Don't get it confused with a power wire. It's not that one. Okay, we've got the uh, camera repositioned. So, in the kit you get, you get a new cam. So, take this 14mm nut off, slide the old one out, replace with the new one. Obviously, you've got a, uh, an, a recess there which lines up with a pin so it can't spin. Put that on, tighten it up. Use the little the screws you get, the Allen bolts that you get with the kit. Don't forget to put the washers on because if you've extended these holes, which you should do before you put it on, then that washer obviously helps to earth it. Um, so that's that. So ignition's now on on the bike. Rotate this ascent unit as far anti-clockwise as you can get it. Then spin the um, crank oh, 360 degrees completely round and you'll see that red light come on. That shows it's working. So I'll just give it a anti-clockwise a full rotation and then you're looking in this hole which I don't think you can see but you're looking for that's the right if you can see that that's the right cylinder that's the left So obviously the centre one should come up now. A little bit too far. In fact, I'll just take that round again. So spin it anti-clockwise. That's your right. That's your left. And then very, very slowly up to, it's quite hard because you're fighting against compression, but that's perfect. Right, what you're looking for, I'm trying to get some, there's no reflection. There's a line there, that marker is the centre cylinder, and it wants to line up with this on the casting. So when that's in line, you now rotate the circuit board clockwise as soon as this orange light comes on nip it up that is timed so it's going to do it very slowly and it's come on now let me just nip all these up Okay. Okay, that is now timed up. Um, I've set it this way. I've checked it with a strobe. They're always bang on. But that is the easiest way to do it. Um, no points, condensers, setting everything, that's it, you're done. Dead, dead simple. Um, <laughs> they are idiot proof, I can do it. But again, on here, you can see this slot is right up to the extent of me extending the hole. Um, so it really does pay to elongate these holes so you can get maximum anti-clockwise or clockwise should I say when you time it up um, 
but that is now set so enjoy please like and subscribe and it'll keep me doing more and more of these videos thanks for watching